Okay, so welcome back to part 8 of this web design series. Uh, in the previous video, we were uh, just finishing off the billboard. So if we open up Photoshop, the, the final things we need to do now are just add the two buttons for the on the billboard area for unique features and download now. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to select the unique features button, which jumps to the, the layer we need. So if we come down to the layers panel, and if we hold down the Alt key and click on the I symbol, everything disappears. Click on the unique features above and we've now got our button ready to be cropped out. So if we zoom in, okay, there's our button. And it does have a bit of shadow um, below the button. So if we crop, if we select just slightly bigger than we need to grab that shadow, like that. If we do edit, copy merged, and then do file new, click OK, and then edit paste. We've now got the button out of the Photoshop document and onto its own into its own document. If we now remove the, the background layer to give it transparency, and then we do file save for web and devices need to select PNG24 to get the transparency click save and then we're going to save this into our images folder into our structure and we'll call this button 1 or you can call it what you want and click on save and that's now saved that as a PNG if we come out of this click no okay so if we now right click hard show all layers it brings all that back if we now concentrate on the download button to deselect that selection if you hold down control D that removes it if we now click on the download now button and as you can see it's jumped to the layer if we hold down the alt key everything disappears click on the layer above to get the text and then we want to create a selection around this as well and then if we do edit copy merged file new click OK control V to paste in or edit paste remove the background file safe web and devices we're on PNG 24 still click save and we'll call this button 2 Okay, so that's the, the buttons taken out. Okay, now that we've cut the two buttons out, we need to go back over to Visual Web Developer and add them into the billboard area. So if we open up Visual Web Developer, and here we are, we're back in our design. Um, so really, we need to add them below this paragraph tag to sit here. So if we go to our source view, so they're going to basically sit here. So the code we're going to create will be the following. We'll create a div with a ID equals bill board buttons. Close that out. like that. So if we now add some space in between. Okay, so I'm just going to copy uh, the code in to save a bit of time. Okay, so we're adding basically this code says an image and the, the source. So it's pointing to images, structure, button 1 and then the other one is pointing to button 2. So if we just check that out in the browser, click on design and as you can see there we have our two buttons added in but as usual we need to position them so we need to float them to the right and then we need to push them down slightly as well so if we jump over to our CSS and first if we go to source and I've spelt that wrong so if we change if we copy this bit of text here go back to our style sheet and then if we add in that so our first property is going to be float right 
if we save that and just go back to the master page and straight away they've now floated to the right so if we just check out our Photoshop design first of all we need to change a few of these so if we press Control D to deselect if we just zoom out a little so that's Control and the minus key and if we just right click on any one of the layers and click show slash hide all layers do it one more time everything's back just click on that one to bring that back okay so if we just zoom in slightly so really all we need to do is actually just move them down slightly because they become right along the edge here so if we go back to visual web developer so if we just preview this in a browser first of all see what results we're getting okay so as, you, as I said earlier we just need to move them down ever so slightly so what we'll do for that if we go back to visual developer click on our style sheets we'll give we we'll use the position property again and give it a relative if we give it top of say 20 pixels for now and if we just go back to the browser and if we just refresh the page and there you can see they've now dropped down to pretty much the position we need them if we just go back to Photoshop they may need some spacing in between the buttons yeah slight bit of spacing so if we go back to our style sheet and if we use the following if we use padding so top zero right zero bottom zero but we'll give it a bit of left of say 10 pixels come back to our browser refresh the page okay looking at that it hasn't actually moved anything so to fix that problem if we come back to visual web developer and what we need to do if we just copy all of this paste it below and add on to here IMG for image remove these three properties and click save so what this is saying now so any image in the billboard buttons div give it some padding of 30 pixels so if we just preview that in the browser if we just open it back up hit refresh Okay, there we go, we now have spa a bigger space in between the two buttons. So looking at that, that's the pretty much the billboard area finished. So the next area we'll concentrate on will be the footer. So if we just go back to Photoshop, if we just come down to the bottom, and the footer is dead simple. Uh, it's just two lines of text. So if we jump over to Visual Web Developer, click on our master page go to our source view and here is the the footer content div so in here I'm going to create a paragraph tag in fact I'm going to create two like so and then I need to grab the text from the Photoshop mock-up so if we zoom in if we grab the text tool and if we just copy this text jump back over to Visual Web Developer paste it straight in and then copy the bottom part paste that into the other paragraph tag if we just preview that in design view as you can see the text is there it's just hiding behind that at the moment um, so basically we need to style uh, the footer content so if we go back to our style sheet but we're actually targeting those paragraph tags so it's footer content P First of all, I think if we just preview that in a browser, 
click reload okay there you go you can see the it's there but it's sitting right on top of that shadow so what we think we'll do if we jump back to visual web developer in here we're going to give some margin so we're going to say the top we'll put five pixels the right doesn't matter the bottom will give five pixels and the left doesn't matter okay so if we just save the style sheet go back to the browser hit reload okay as you can see it's giving it a bit of spacing now okay so looking at that we've got a slight issue and um, we've got this little gap that's appeared here now so if we just jump back to visual web developer and if we change that to padding instead of margin back to the browser hit reload okay so now that that little gaps now gone I think we should probably give it a bit more along the top so if we back to our style sheet so if we say top of 15 go back to the browser okay there you go it's now moved it away quite significantly now um, what we need to do we need to change the size of the font because it doesn't quite look right so if we just jump back to visual web developer so if we give it a font size thirteen pixels and if we jump back to the browser okay it's now in decreased in size if we just jump back to Photoshop the actual text itself is actually white so we need to change that so if we jump back to the style sheets and do color and if you wanted to you could type in white like that or if you wanted to use the hex code you could just do six F's go back to the browser hit reload and as you can see it's now changed to white just jump back over to Photoshop looking at it there's a bigger gap there but less in between so we can sort that problem if we give padding on the top of say 30 30 come back to our master page and if we do the following if we add BR which is a page break copy this bit of code like so add it just after remove this paragraph altogether and if we just jump back to the, the browser hit reload and then as you can see now they're now closer together and there's a bigger gap um, from the the shadow down to the text so the time's running out now so what I'll have to do is stop the video here and I'll create another one straight after and upload both at the same time as always if you do like these videos please rate subscribe to the channel for any new updates on videos that I make okay cheers bye